Hi friends, welcome to Ova Studies YouTube channel. This is part 33 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about fill and fill NA functions in PySpark. So please watch my previous videos before watching this video so that you will get most out of it. All the videos are in sequence order inside PySpark playlist. So let's discuss about fill and fill NA functions. Actually, let's assume you have null or none values in your data frame and for some reason you want to replace them with some values. It may be with some integer number, with some string, with some constant value. So you want to replace nulls and null and none functions inside a data frame. In such situations, you have to use this fill and fill in a function. Both the functions does the same thing actually. So you can use whichever the function you feel comfortable. Let me explain you this with an example. Let me go to browser. Here I have already opened my data of bricks workspace. And here let me go to workspace. Sorry, let me hit new and create a new notebook. Let me name this notebook like fill notebook. Python is a default language. This is my cluster name. So once I hit a create button, it will create a notebook for us actually. So let me close this pop-up window here and here let's try to create a dummy data frame which will contain some nulls or none values. So for the interest of the time, I have already written some code in my notepad. So let me copy this and let me paste it here. So this create data frame function help you to create a data frame with some dummy values. I have already explained this in my previous videos. So very, let me quickly explain you this. I have a variable called data which holds a list, list of tuples. Every tuple here represents one row in data frame. And you see this is like a ID column, name, gender, salary and department. Here in the first row department is none and in the third row gender is none. So let me try to use data frame dot show function and let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and show you the results first here. So once you see the data frame in a table representation here, so that you will make sense like how the data frame is looking like. So we have a ID column, name column, gender, salary department and here we have a null value in gender, we have a null value in department. And if you closely observe, both these columns are string type. So let me do one thing, there is something called print schema function. And let me hit shift enter to execute this cell and if you see gender column is string department column is also string and name column is string id column is long salary column is long type so now only gender and department column has some null or none values so what if every wherever we have a string data type so they replace these nulls or nuns with some value called unknown maybe so whether it is possible or not, yes it is possible using fill and fill in a function. Let me practically show you this. So what you can do on top of data frame, you can use fill in a, I will explain the fill function also, it, is, it will work exactly same actually. So and here what I am doing, to the fill in a function you need to plus what the value you have to replace in nulls. So let me use a help function here to understand that function better. So I just hit the shift enter and now here if you see, so this is a method and this method will actually replace null values and if you see here, it has the uh, details of the parameters, what to pass into that function, value, what value you want to replace and subset, like subset will indicate in which columns you want to replace this null values using this value. So that columns also you can explicitly supply. Let me practically show you that here. So what I can do here, df dot fill in a, and here I want to replace unknown. So here unknown I am using it as a string parameter, right? So that means in the entire data frame, whatever the column we have string types, in which if there is any nulls, the unknown value replace it. So let me use uh, show function here, and let me practically show you the result to give you more sense here. So now here if you see my data frame has null in department column and also 
it has a null in gender column. But now, after fill NA, if you see here, both the nulls are replaced with a unknown. If you closely observe my code, I haven't used any column name here to indicate in this particular column go and replace. I have I have not done that. Still, it was able to replace. How that is happening? As I said, this function takes the two parameters. First parameter, what is the value to replace? What is the value to put there? And second parameter will be the columns, list of columns in which you want to perform this fill operation to work. So here for the second parameter, I haven't passed any column name. So all the columns will get replaced with the unknown value wherever you see null in the string data type columns. Okay. So let's assume I want to do that only in a gender column. So explicitly for the second parameter, I'm passing my gender column in a list. So now what will happen? This null will remain same here only, but this null will get replaced with value called unknown. Let me hit shift enter to execute this cell here. Now, if you see here we have unknown, but here we don't have. Why? Because here we are explicitly telling. So what if I want to make sure the replace should happen in both the columns. So I will be using a department column also in the list. Now, if I execute, it will fill the values in both the columns. See department album also got an unknown value, gender column also got an unknown value. So this is how fill NA function will work. This is actually like a duplicate of fill, fill NA only, okay, the fill function only, sorry. So you, you can see that in the documentation of the fill NA function as well. So let me use that syntax also. So on top of data frame, so there is an attribute called, uh, there is a, let me remove this. So there is an attribute called NA. On top of it, you can use a fill function and it's same thing. To the fill function, you have to supply the value what you want to place in nulls and you can supply list of columns also. If you don't supply list of columns, whatever the data type of data you pass here, in all the columns which, which align with this data type, the nulls will get replaced with this value. Okay. So let me hit shift enter and let, let me do one thing. Let me replace only in department column maybe. To make you sense that it is really working let me hit shift enter now now if you see we have a null in gender in department but if you see only department null is replaced with unknown but gender null is still there so if i want gender null also to be replaced then i will be using gender column also in the list and let me hit shift enter and the job executed successfully now you can see unknown was replaced in places of the null value in rows. So that's how it works. I hope you got an idea how this fill and fill NA functions will work in PySpark. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.